Telltale Games, one of the best or considered as one of the best story narrative game developers of all time. Their time in gaming industry really changed everything, from how we consumed story adventure games to choices based games. Although their games did have very repetitive content and choices rarely mattered just for the ending here and there, their time was still amazing. Their games and stories were fantastic and that's why we loved them. Not because of graphics, not just because of choices but because of their stories, their more than life characters, relationships and most importantly their hard work, passion behind all these games. But since now Telltale games have become a memory for the past and we gotta move on, it's time for us to look back one more time and pay tribute in a way to Telltale games as we're diving back into their best work of all time. And that's where this video comes in. So today we're looking at 5 best Telltale games of all time that you need to play right now. There's seriously something special. Play them while you still can. Starting off at number 5, we had Minecraft Story Mode, both seasons 1 and 2. Now look, I get it, Minecraft not really popular in story-based narrative genre, but what Telltale has done with this project and franchise is amazingly insane. Wait, I wanted to say the other way. Insanely amazing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Minecraft Story Mode is an episodic point-and-click graphic adventure video game developed and published by Telltale Games, based on a very popular game, Minecraft. The first five episodes of the game were released between October 2015 through March 2016, and an additional three episodes, that was really something, were released as downloadable content in mid-2016. The game was released for Microsoft Windows, Mac OS, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Wii U, Nintendo Switch, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Android, iOS, Apple TV, and just recently after the closing, they've made a similar experience for browser through Netflix. Say whatever you want about it, I've played this countless times, yes I am guilty of that, and I've gotta say that this game has an amazing story for what it is. Although the three additional episodes are questionable, but trust me when I say this, if you've ever played Minecraft any time of your life, you needed to play this one because of the story, characters, and much much more waiting for you in this experience. Season 2 is an exception though, you don't really need to play Season 2 because Season 1 would do it for you, but it's worth worth a shot nonetheless. Speaking of experiences, at number 4 we have Tales from Borderlands. Now I know Inferno is gonna be mad that I've put this in number 4, he can't get enough of this franchise, but literally everyone who has played this game agrees that it's one of the best games Telltale has ever put out there. And that's because it stands out so much due to its amazing story, more than life characters, and really good humor and much more. Tales from Borderlands, as always, an episodic interactive comedy graphic adventure sci-fi video game based on a very popular Borderlands series released in November 2014 for Android, iOS, Microsoft Windows, OS X, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. This game was developed by Telltale Games under license from Gearbox Software, the developer of Borderlands series and 2K Games is publishers. Just like other Telltale games, it had 5 episodes and was loved majorly by the fans throughout the gaming industry. But just like with every other game, it had its downs and as well, such as repetitive gameplay and the way it was built in their game engine, Telltale Engine. But overall, the other things foreshadowed these downs because players got so invested in its emotional story, humorous writing, amazing characters, and so much more. This one is a bit different approach from other Telltale games, that's why it's worth a shot because who knows, it might become your favorite game of all time, just like Inferno's. Speaking of favorites, number 3 we got Wolf Among Us Season 1. This game really cemented Telltale's legacy and foot in gaming industry as through this game, Telltale really showed why they're good at what they do here and why they were one of the best in this industry. Just ask anyone who is a Telltale fan and they'll tell you why Wolf Among Us is something special. The Wolf Among Us is an episodic interactive fantasy mystery graphic adventure video game based on Bill Willingham's Fables comic book series. It is developed by Telltale Games, it is canon with the comic book universe and is set as a prequel to the comic book. The game as always is consists of 5 episodes, with first episode being released for Microsoft Windows and Xbox 360 worldwide on October 11, 2013 and then for OS X, PlayStation 3, iOS, PlayStation Vita before the end of 2014 and then PlayStation 3, PlayStation 
4, PlayStation Vita, Xbox 360, and Xbox One were released in November 2014. Going a bit more in details, you play as Bigby Wolf, who investigates the murder of a woman. This one is played from a third person perspective, and not only you have to investigate, but also build relationships by interacting with other characters, and your choices will determine the story. As always, it has quick time events, and press blank button to prompt an action, and you get the point. It's a must play game, and honestly, it breaks us from inside thinking about how amazing Telltale were with their writings. If only they had made good decisions with their business. Speaking of decisions, and at number 2 we got Batman Telltale series, both seasons 1 and 2. Say whatever you want about Telltale approach on Batman, you cannot deny the fact that the story Telltale ended up making with both seasons was something none of us expected and it deserves so much credit for what they've accomplished with these two seasons. First game was critically acclaimed for obviously its amazing story because unlike other Batman stories, this time the corrupt people are not only the villains and mafias, but this time, they're your parents as well. Yes, Bruce's parents, and you have to live with it, fight through it. This game throws amazing plot twists, great characterization, character interactions, and action-packed sequences. It has the most action in any Telltale game ever. Batman The Telltale series is a 2016 episodic point-and-click graphic adventure video game developed and published by Telltale Games and distributed by Warner Bros. Interactive and entertainment under its DC Entertainment label. The game is based on a Bob Kane and Bill Finger's Batman character, though not tied to any previous adaptation of the work in film or other media. A second season, titled Batman the Enemy Within, was released in 2017. Both seasons were fantastic for what they were. Season 2 for me personally stood out more, but Season 1 was more loved and praised by the fans than Season 2, and unfortunately Season 2 didn't get as many sales as the first one. Matter of fact, it was very below par. If you're a Batman fan and you've played any Arkham game, believe me, this is a story you don't want to miss, as this is by far the favorite Telltale game series that I've ever enjoyed and had connection with. That is why it's made its way at number 2. And finally, number 1, no surprise. The Walking Dead seasons 1 to all the way final season. There's no doubt that this series, the company behind it, had made something special that's become a part of history. Something that'll never change. Something that'll never be replaced as everyone or for the most part gamers believes that The Walking Dead Telltale season 1 was something that was undeniably golden gem. Emotional story. Especially in a setting you would never expect a story like this. And to pull it off this amazingly because let's face it, The Walking Dead games doesn't go that well, overkill, I'll stop. But the main point is, the ending of the first game really left fans thinking and wondering about their own lives and really made a mark in gaming history for decades to come. Lee, Clementine, AJ, Kenny, Javier, these are some of the many names people have, has, had, will remember throughout decades. Telltale changed the gaming industry with this series, made three seasons out of it, which was loved by the fans. Well, okay, maybe not the third one, but you get the point. Just like it's games that had emotional stories, Telltale Games themselves, the developers, had a very emotional journey and a very tragic and unfortunate ending as well when they were making the final season of their most beloved franchise, The Walking Dead. Out of nowhere, the news broke gaming industry in half when more than 200 employees were laid off without a notice or pay and Delta Games was shut down forever as they went bankrupt. And their final ambitious project, after releasing two episodes, The Walking Dead, the final season, went into air and then was picked up later by poetically their owners themselves, Skybound Games. We did head an end to Clementine, to Walking Dead, to Telltale Games, but what these people have accomplished and set the bar in gaming industry is only a fraction of what greatness has yet to come. Quantic Dream, don't nod. We need more choices-based, story-driven narrative games that we all know we need at Telltale Games. You will be remembered just like your games and their stories were and Villa forever. Thank you, Telltale, for everything. Thank you. Kids are safe here. Make sure of it. I'm Clementine. Yeah, I know. Your kid won't stop talking about you. Um, does he know what that is? Yes. We all had to grow up fast. But you're safe now. And so's your friend. Hey, over here! Clem, look. Someone sabotaged this.
monsters. Everyone's counting on me to step up. I can't let another kid die. I'm not gonna let that happen, I promise. I just keep thinking that things might have ended differently if I was there. Everybody dies. It's not really up to us anymore. You don't understand. I'm trying to protect you! The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. What'd he teach you? How to say goodbye. But that'll do it for this video. Check out these two videos right here. I've worked hard on them. So why not give them a chance? And if you subscribe, come on, man. Why are we so late with 15,000 subscribers, man? Come on. It's only a thousand left. All right. And I'll see you soon. Take care and peace.